Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician's channel and today we're going to be going into some service cards that you can find online. So we can all for the most part agree that the best deal out there as far as quality to price ratio the Harbor Freight's US General Fiber or service card is among one of the best ones as far as quality to price range comparison. There's not a lot of tool carts out there available in that price range that are worth it. Um, a lot of those other tool carts available in the 200 to $300 range are garbage. They're um, extremely thin, extremely um, shallow. They don't have any depth, thin gauge steel, uh, cheap casters. There's a lot of those out there that are not worth purchasing at the 200 to $300 range. And to try and find some tool carts that are roughly around the same quality as the Harbor Freight, you're looking at a higher price range. You're looking at anywhere from $450 to $850 to get that. But the Harbor Freight, I really enjoy that tool cart. I love the way it's laid out. I love the pricing for it, the availability, as well as the attachments and color options that they have. But that layout isn't always what people are looking for. Some people are looking for some different options and layouts as far as carts. So they may have to sacrifice some more money in order to get a cart of their liking. So once again, it's really hard to beat that Harbor Freight deal at 200, even at $250 now. I know it used to be cheaper, even at $250 now, that's still, that's still a great deal um, price to quality range. Whereas if you're looking for something a little bit more versatile or f something that fits your needs that isn't garbage like the other 200 to $300 tool carts out there, you're going to be paying a little bit more. So today we're going to be looking at the OEM Tools 24730. It's the three door drawer slide top service cart. And uh, I'll just kind of go through these images with you. I also will share the information that they have available on this page as well as some other information I have. So stay tuned for that. But let me know your guys' thoughts and I'll share my thoughts at the end of this. So here, just kind of taking a closer look, you can see the hinges on the top. I do like the tool carts that have the slide top. It's nice that you can work there on the top and if you need something inside, you can move it to one side or the other, kind of split the difference. And then you can open your box and still access that where a flip top, you have to completely remove the item from the top of your tool cart or just don't work on the top of your tool cart and then access it. But this kind of gives you the option to work on top of it and still access what's inside. Now one drawback I did see on this is there's no plastic guards anywhere on the cart. This all seems to be metal, so moving it around the shop, around cars, other carts, anything like that, you need to be very careful not to hit anything with it because it doesn't have any protection. There you can see the lock in the center, three drawers, and the bottom portion. So getting into this, here you can see the front view of it. You got the two shallow drawers, the one deep drawer, and the handle on the right side, as well as the casters. I'll share all of the specs on those in just one second. Here's a side look at the cart. And here it is with all of the drawers open as far as the top as well. And that does open up for more storage. And then inside you have a power strip pry bar, screwdriver, breaker bar, organizers there on the side. You got the power strip, you got the locking mechanism for the drawers, your three drawers. I'll go over the specs of that in just one second and your tubular lock. So the top is a stainless steel top, it slides open and it, each one has two gas struts that hold the lids open. So that is a nice touch. So each slide out as far as the top portion is going to be 17 inches wide, 18 and a half inches deep from front to rear, and two inches tall. So some good organization space there, not really as far as deep ball sockets or anything like that, but you can keep your miscellaneous items up there, or maybe you wanna keep uh, nuts and bolts and stuff that you take off of whatever project you're working on, you can keep it kind of organized up in that area. The top on the inside is 30 and a half inches wide, 19 inches deep from front to rear and eight inches tall so plenty of depth in there in order to put your deep well sockets on an organizer or anything like that and you don't have to worry about them not fitting and then 
the overall weight capacity of this tool cart is 1500 pounds so that is actually a good weight capacity as far as this and that is largely due to the fact that it has some decent casters on it uh, something that you don't see on a lot of these tool carts a lot of the tool carts have smaller casters on them cheaper casters this one does have some uh, good casters on it so getting into the th the drawers they do have here full length aluminum pull tabs so underneath of the handle you can see another basically handle on the inside of it and it runs the entire length of the drawer and it's a pull tab so it unlocks the drawer um, so it keeps them from coming open when moving the cart around you don't have to worry about the drawers coming open and the toolbox falling over the shallow drawers are rated at 100 pounds they're 29 inches wide two and a quarter inches tall and eight in 18 inches deep from front to rear the big bottom drawer is going to be 29 inches wide five and a half inches tall and 18 inches deep from front to rear five and a half inches that's plenty of room for your deep well sockets if you don't want to keep them in the top of the cart um, so some good drawers here with some decent weight capacity so 200 on the big drawer and 100 on the top shallow drawers the bottom portion does have adjustable slots so you can kind of organize things down there if you would like that's a nice touch and then the casters are going to be two fixed casters non-swivel and then the other two are going to be uh, swivel locking casters and they're six inch casters rated at 450 pounds each so they're very strong and I do like the locking mechanism on there uh, so the only real downside to this I can see some bracing there um, around the bottom of the drawer there's no real bottom to it uh, it's just kind of open which is not a big deal but uh, I would like to see at least a, a sheet metal that runs across there just to make sure that nothing gets jammed up in between that bar and the bottom drawer. And then the guards on it. I don't like that it's all metal. That can definitely be a bad thing if working close to other cars. And then just kind of looking at some of the other information that they provide. So here you can see the overall dimensions, the thickness gauge steel that they use on the shell and drawers. The weight capacity, I'll kind of let you guys pause that and read those if you would like. It's kind of the information I've already went over, the overall dimensions and everything. And it does come in three colors. It comes in blue, green, and black. So after looking at all of that, I would say this is a good cart with good versatility, good uh, organizational setup. And overall, a nice setup. I like the slide top. I like the stainless steel top, uh, the power option, the full length tab to keep the drawers locked. All of that, it's set up very well. In this price range of $730, it's a little steep for it. If you're, especially when a lot of people know about the Harbor Freight cart, a lot of people like that. So if you're even going to try and compete with that, you need to be closer to that price range. So my thoughts overall, it's a good box. Without getting my hands on it, I personally think it's a good cart, but I think it's overpriced for uh, what people are looking for in the industry. You're looking for a tool cart above the quality of the Harbor Freight cart. I don't know if this is the option that I would go, not because of a lack of quality or anything, but that price range. Once you get into that price range, I would probably start considering snap-on matco those pro name brand boxes and carts because if you're going to be paying that amount you might want to have a dealer as far as warranty or uh, maybe color options that you would like or features that might come with it you have a lot more to pick from especially when working in that price range so that's my thoughts on it please let me know your guys thoughts on it down in the comments what do you think of the box overall price aside and then would you purchase it once you figured out the price? I personally would not buy this due to the price, but I like the cart. So once again, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. See you guys next time.